this ratio was kept similar for 20 years. In 1990, they, they basically they both grew at a similar rate, so we still have about 50% ordinary. Now, in the 1990s, something interesting happens. Uh, ordinary consumption in the year 2000 is down to 36.2%. So, actually, 60 what 65.8 percent of our electricity is going towards uh, the power plants, which to mainly the, the aluminium standards. Now <coughs> you see that this graph goes up to the year 2007. The actual figures for 2008 are not in, but we had a forecast by the National Energy Authority uh, that should be quite accurate because. It is actually made in, in the last year and is uh, supposed to reflect uh, the actual uh, investments and actual uh, things that are going on there. So, <coughs> but yeah, before we go there, interesting fact. If we had to buy coal to produce all this electricity and to heat our houses, we would be paying some $220 million per year uh, in foreign currency. So we're actually, once again, we're blessed to have all this all this energy. It would not be very good in the current climate to have this to pay as, a, as an extra. <laughs> but, again, we want to look at the future. And to do that, we need a little bit bigger scale. Here we go. Uh, we have two to thirty here, so a year in the future. And the scale on the last round of 20,000 gigawatt hours per year. And the forecast by the energy authority goes like this. Uh, this is just something, this is more or less just something positive. And then the rise in the ordinary <coughs> consumption as, it, as we go towards uh, 230s. I um, took the liberty to color in uh, a similar split, or, you know, a similar trend in ordinary consumption versus power intensive consumption until 2030. So basically I just kept the rate for this one and left the rest to uh, power intensive. And that means that by 2010, that's the next year, ordinary consumption is down to 23.5% uh, of the total power production and the entire rest goes towards power intensive industries. Now, <coughs> what about the current transport standards in Helpuri and Baki? I could pull an outdoor but while I don't allow me to, <laughs> so, instead, I'm going to change the scale again. So, we still go to 230, this is the same picture, for a different scale. And now we have 30,000 gigawatt hours up there. 30 terawatt hours. Uh, remember, that's, that's 30 out of a uh, 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 total of 50 possible. So, we're getting pretty well. Not close, but it, it makes you think, doesn't it? So let's color in the two, two new aluminium smelters. Here we go. They are roughly, I've colored them in, uh, took a poetic license to color them in at 2015 and 2018, uh, and they seem to be of a similar size, the two of them together, as what uh, has been happening for the past five years or so. So it's a, it's a big thing. And, what does it mean with the ratio? It means that in 2020, ordinary consumption is below 20% of our total power production, and uh, what is used for power intensive industries is now actually more than 40% of the entire year power that we can produce in our country. And that makes you think, doesn't it? So I'll leave you with that note, but before we stop, I just want to come to us a little bit. We've been talking about 50 terawatt hours per year of the potential uh, electricity generation in Iceland. New York City. <laughs> we couldn't power New York City. So, that's that.